anything to be had from tonight's game against UNLV. It's that after 11 days, the Warriors will be able to return home and hold their head up high after their hardest fought game of the season. The heat was on in Sam Boyd Stadium, literally. It was 97 degrees on the field, but it was Hawaii who came out hot, especially Kealoha Pilares. The junior had a career high 13 catches for 146 yards, 12 of which, 12 catches of which came in the first half. UH settled for a field goal there, but late in the first, Alexander hooks up with Greg Salas, who scampers 54 yards for one of his two touchdowns. How you doing, everybody? Let's talk sports. It happens to almost everybody in Las Vegas. Just when it looks like you're destined to cash in, that one card or that one roll of the dice swipes victory right from your clutches. Tonight, the UH Warrior football team was staring at a win against UNLV, only to crap out in the closing minutes. First series of the game, UH QB Greg Alexander, who had a career high 453 yards last week versus Washington State, picking up where he left off, finding Kealoha Pilaris inside the five. Great snag. Pilaris hauled in a team best 13 receptions tonight. That one would lead to a Warrior field goal. Later, UH down 7-3, but the Greggs get together for a 54-yard trip to the end zone. Greg Alexander to Greg Salas. Warriors take a 10-7 lead. They'd hold a 20-14 advantage at intermission. Second half, though, things changed. The Rebels dominated the third stanza, holding the ball for more than 12 minutes and limiting the Warriors to only four offensive plays. Omar Clayton finding Philip Payne for the jump ball TD. 21-20 UNL but the Warriors had an answer in the fourth. Alexander and Salas, well, twice was nice. Another scoring hookup for 23 yards that time. Alexander would break his week-old career-high mark, going for 477 yards in this one. More importantly, Warriors were up 27-21. The seesaw battle was far from over, though. Clayton, quarterback draw, that gets him to the promised land. And that went along with his 340 yards passing. Rebels go up by a point. But the Warriors wouldn't go away. This time, they exploit the running game, handing it off to Alex Green, and that's your go-ahead touchdown. UH would not convert the two-point attempt, so 33-28 the score. Warriors in front with 5-27 remaining. Clayton would march the Rebels down the field, and on the welcome mat, what do they do? Well, throw it up to Mr. Payne. He hauls it in, Clayton's third scoring toss of the game. Rebels reclaim the lead with 41 ticks left. It would come down to an arm and a prayer for Hawaii. Last play of the game, Alexander heaves it to the end zone. And it gets batted around a little bit, but alas, it falls to the turf, and that's your ball game. A great ball game, but the Warriors, although hanging tough, see it slip away 34-33. We missed some opportunities at the end of the game. We missed a couple of interceptions uh, that could have put the ball game away. Uh, but you know what? We didn't make the play. And Las Vegas did make the play. A defensive standpoint, you try to get off the field as much as possible and leave the offense, but the offense was scoring fast and they was trying to get off the field. Um, there's some plays that we should have made, but uh, tough luck. I mean, hard loss. Uh, you know, we had a lot of missed opportunities in the first half, probably some in the second half, so we got to capitalize on those if we're going to want to, you know, start winning on the road, you know. <clears throat> uh, you know, it's always tough to win on the road, but you go to a place like this, people are calling it, you know, the Ninth Island. We've got a lot of crowd here. You know, we got to find ways to win these games. You know, next week when we go to La Tech, you know, probably not going to be too many people there. we got to find ways to win these games. Thanks to our John Veneri, who got us those sound, ba uh, sound bites from up in Vegas. Rodney Bradley was large for Hawaii, leading the team with 189 yards on eight catches plus a score. Salas went for a buck 06. RJ Kiso Kohane, who you saw there, had 12 tackles to pace the Hawaii D, but they struggled to put pressure on Clayton, sacking him only once. Warriors fall to 2 and 1 on the season. Their next game is two Wednesdays from now when they visit Louisiana Tech for their whack opener. In what turned out to be a fantastic football game that ended in Hawaii heartbreak, Warriors handed their first loss of the 2009 season tonight to the Rebels of UNLV. First half, UH trailing 7-3 when senior quarterback Greg Alexander connected with the nation's leading receiver Greg Salas on a 54-yard touchdown, giving Hawaii the 10-7 lead. A little later, UH goes up 17-7 when Alexander hit the streaking Rodney Bradley on a 39-yard scoring hookup. University of Hawaii led 20-14 in Vegas at halftime. How's it going, everybody? Despite record nights for a handful of Warrior offensive weapons, UH football team left Sin City with a hangover following a final minute drive by the Rebels. We'll pick things back up in the third quarter where UNLV dominated a time of possession, keeping the UH defense on the field for 12 minutes and 59 seconds, taking a 21-20 lead heading into the final frame on Philip Payne's eight-yard touchdown. 
Four minutes into the fourth, though, Alexander and Salas hook up again, this time on a 23-yard score. Salas, six receptions, 104 yards, and two touchdowns for him. However, following quarterback Omar Clayton's 11-yard keeper for six, the Rebs took a 28-27 advantage. But the Warriors would answer with junior college transfer Alex Green's two-yard score. Failed two-point try, put UH in front, 33-28. But just over five minutes remaining, UNLV, though, went on a rebel run. 14 plays, 67-yard drive, capped off with a Philip Payne 15-yard touchdown in the corner of the end zone with 36 seconds remaining. 34-33, UNLV, the final rebel snap, a two-game losing streak to Hawaii. Alexander, career high 477 yards passing. Bradley good for a career best buck 89 in two scores. And Kealoha Polaris, career record 12 receptions for 146 yards. Again, though, 34-33 UNLV, the final UH now falls to two and one. Up next, on the road against Wackpo, Louisiana Tech in 11 days.